the reflection of we have seen the reflection of the grown and established rich communities and poor people that is very visible likewise their reflection due to various other paucity and other things they will get into some stagnation they will get to the endorsed into some sort of a back role which will create an stable society in the course of a great uh, industrial fall great economic depression inflation deflation uh, recession etc so this type of retrospective under development and uh, that is a reprocessing of once one original status without development will happen at the time of the impact of this uh, so called people who are trampled by the growth unorganized growth of a limited community these things are totally unavoidable so these are all some areas where we can control things and majorly we want to say something in 1990 also we faced the same inflation but that was due to a domestic factor point number 1 that was due to a domestic factor not uh, due to this uh, global factors etc so the problem with the government is it requires a different atmosphere we have to just uh, Uh, undergo one systemic study of these problems and the methodologies that have been used and reveal the same thing in a meeting with the financial secretaries it is very 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 what we call deplorable as well as it is very melancholic to even think that they are using the same traditional anti inflation instruments which have been used in the pre liberalization era now we are in the liberalization era now we are having globalization privatization and liberalization there are three things one is privatization within the country then liberalization of others to come globalization then open door for all people to participate so we are having these three isations in this era the same thing of already i told na that is increase of rates of interest and the new fiscal policies then increase of taxation reducing expense cut rate in expense all of the same traditional tools are used which have been used in the pre liberalization era that is a very great problem what we have to suggest is new things number 1 we are having a fear of us dollar collapse always we are having that fear in our mind so we have to create two economies and to create that economy it will take two or three decades one is us free or us independent economy second is an energy source self reliance energy source wherein by we need not be dependent upon the middle east economy so these two things are not in the hands of stock exchange or the persons who just invest it is in the hands of the universal think tanks to organize and develop these things then uh, revaluation of money current must be done whenever uh, the advanced economies they advise whenever there is a possibility of such inflation revaluation of money the currency must be revaluated but when it is done it is it will totally be against uh, the public mentality will be against the government so the government takes measure in such a manner even though that is not uh, salubrious to the national economic development they will not consider anything about the nation's development they will consider about some factors which are for development or even they will be ready to some stunt which will create uh, in the minds of the people that this government is to be reelected so they are totally focusing on such thing it is it is a common epidemic disease for all parties that have been formed or about to be formed these things cannot be prevented so this how we can do that so in a very major force i have told in one my lecture also if you are having a strong construction using a coromandel or this kcp cement it does not overrule the impact of an earthquake which is a mega force so whatever you do with your stock study trend analysis market study softwares for uh, uh, predicting the sensex points and our investment securities howsoever you go when it is affected by a mass and mega force it is very difficult for us to organize ourselves so it is a high return high risk area wherein by we have entered we are if we are here go, going to get something you are going to get a golden mountain which you are going to that is utilized for all of your succeeding generations so at the time of crisis the same golden mountain will be there but not in your hands but falling on your head no doubt it is a golden mountain so this is the great it is a high energy high risk and high returns area that is a problem with it same thing i want to say if there is crisis now this petroleum price hike isn't it for china isn't it for us and uk now you know what is the inflation rate of china 8.7 is any politician uh, talking about these things are the people worried about this inflation why are in the are in the responsible because the country is organized by such a capable group of organizers irrespective of the various communities and also the bribe or corruption or uh, high end uh, 
uh, this type of embracery is unavoidable in the global community. In spite of that, there is an organized system of growth. They will be indulging in such corruption, such a development or massing their wealth, uh, which does not affect uh, the future generation or economy of the nation. They will be also they will be squeezing and uh, leeching the economy and self-development and uh, benefiting their own society, dependents and relatives. It is very commonly envisioned in major developing countries, but it will be within the limitations. Within the limitations, they produce more, they consume more, and they steal more. But here, the production is very limited, and the distribution is more. The two distribution and the consumption is more. Stealing is more. That is uh, the reason for that. Even in China. China that has now, uh, it has announced 1 trillion dollars of connectivity in trade recently. Will it be affected by this inflation? Certainly not because they are having stable economic policies. And even if it is there, they are capable of reorganizing itself. It is not only with the government, but also the IQ level of the common people, understanding economy, politics and social factors. They know what is the socio-economical political factors. Here the socio-economical political factors is not known to the common people. They are driven by election promises and election gifts. So with such a community we cannot develop all of these things. These things are the common areas. Then the other thing which we want to say here is inflation is entirely different from growth. Inflation is entirely different from growth. Now recently the finance minister he has uh, announced that it is growth, not now. Before few months, before this inflation becoming severe, he announced that it is growth. And at the time of growth, at the time of growth, in the process of recovery, and there is no other possibility except rise of prices. Prices will be increased in terms of growth. We cannot expect that all everything will be improving and the prices will be stagnant the same. It is very impossible. So now we have to prove how it is inflation and how it is growth. You can clearly distinguish a child which is growing and child with inflammation or thyroid. Uh, when it is abnormal, unorganized and clumsy, certainly we can understand that it is a, a glandular abnormality or a hormonal imbalance. So we can distinguish. So it, we have to study. And recent economists, they have told that this type of inflation was already predicted. And this type of people, they have forgotten to take two major steps. I have already told our economy is a dependent growth strategy. We are all dependent on external sources. Whenever we are there, we must shield. What is a shield? having alternative sources. If there is petroleum, there are three sources. Getting petroleum and more stockage. Number two, trying to get petroleum or some other related gas or some other fuel or any other material which gives the same purpose and purport from other sources. Number two. Number three, exploring the possibilities of availability of such related, connected, relevant, similar and proximate structure within the country itself. Number four, if any are not there, creating alternative sources for functioning of industrial and transportive services by means of electricity, hydro power, etc. These things are must be in the long run, these things are going to really solve the issue and whenever you are going to hung in a Trisargu heaven with these people, whenever you are going to do with utmost and absolute dependability, you will be frequently subjected to the crisis and the consequential inflation. So, this uh, dependent strategy has been already known to all. And they have not made proper shields. And number two, no preventive measure has been taken in the previous two years. Till they know that it is going to rise. Even before four months we have been discussing either in a meeting with stock exchange or somewhere else I have told that this oil price hike and this inflation will come. It is known to even a karma, very common normal person who is very much experienced or exposed in this economy and uh, geopolitical and geoeconomical studies. It is very quite common. So these things are the various factors which mind that we need a proper way of support from the government side also in the terms of knowledge in the terms of implementation in the terms of the sincerity and rapidity they must do it so quickly so apart from this now the recent survey for this inflation they have given some reasons for which we are also responsible we must understand something we are not we are getting both the benefits and whenever we are getting the benefits whenever we are getting the benefits of black money Whenever we are getting the benefits of corruption, we are happy. And whenever we are subjected to inflation, deflation and other crises, domestic factors, we are sad. So we are getting both good and bad. And it is very nature for the human instinct, the pitiable instinct that it will be sad whenever it is subjected to some worry. So the main factors that have been given here is number one, hyper-expansive bank supply. The expansive bank credits, deficit financing. Immediately you know that everybody can get loan. 
But we tried, we could not. But most of the people in the society, <laughs> eh, 